Hello, Mandy. Welcome to Papa G's. Oh, thank you, Manos, for having the Vuvuzela team with you today. A yeah, pleasure to have you all. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. Manos, you are based in a mall. You supply the majority of Belito with incredible pizzas and pastas. But business, as we know, it has changed. Yes, uh, it's quite different, uh, not quite the same. The whole model has changed. Uh, interesting times, uh, Mandy. Uh, definitely different from what it was a couple of months ago. Eh? Uh, yeah. Uh, so tell us, obviously you're allowed to do delivery. And prior to that, you weren't necessarily doing delivery. So what's that taken from an operational point of view? Well, uh, obviously, we, our main focus is sit down on that. We had to change the model to a delivery system. We had a couple of hiccups along the way. Uh, not allowed to deliver anywhere else but the houses. But uh, we made a little plan. We got uh, a little lad going that we could deliver into the parking lot. Uh, we take it out with a trolley. We take it out with our little masks. Uh, our little uh, sanitizers and our little gloves and we deliver straight to the parking lot and we had a, a couple of our beloved men in blue tell us that this was not allowed <laughs> yeah well i was sat down i had a little arm wrestle with the guy i said look listen if i'm going to go all the way to the person's house and i'm going to meet up with him and i'm going to give him his pizza box and then he's going to hand over his credit card and then i'm going to hand over the credit card machine and i looked at the cop and i said what's the difference of doing it in the parking lot to which he responded, look, I fully agree with you, but it is the law. And unfortunately, I had to abide by the law to a certain degree. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so now I deliver to the parking lot. The parking lot. And if they really want, I'll get in my car and I'll deliver it in the parking lot as well, via car. Via car. Yeah, keep it within the law. Okay, so you've got your delivery guys so you're obviously delivering through mr delivery and all of those but you've also got your own internal delivery system that's right yeah so i've got uh, mr delivery of course uh, we tried to get uber eats which uh, we tried to sign up before the lockdown unfortunately the lockdown put a spanner in it but i've got mr d i have my own in-house uh, uh, delivery guys that deliver as far as uh, salt rock and uh, sheffield beach where mr delivery does not go to westbrook included uh, I've got a lot of regular customers out in those areas over there. So, uh, yeah, we've got our own in-house in delivery and we deliver as far as that for my good customers who really want my pizza. I'll do it with pleasure. Excellent, Manos. And what positive thing has come out of this for you? Is it that you've been able to service your, your customers, pay your staff salaries? There's got to be a positive spin on this. Yes, there is. I don't have to get up at 5.30 in the morning anymore. <laughs> ah, that's the best part. I get up now, 8 o'clock, I still make my cup of coffee, I go wash my face, and I'm still half an hour in time to open up the shop at 9 o'clock in the morning. It's great. <laughs> oh, Manos, thank you so, so much yeah. for your time. It's been an absolute privilege um, interviewing you and just the positivity that even during fairly dark times, you can put a smile on all of our faces and I'm very glad that you are sleeping in. Hopefully yes. soon we'll see you for a walk down on the beach when that's allowed. Uh, yes, I hope so, uh, provided that uh, we can still wake up at 8.30. <laughs> Otherwise you can forget about meeting me on the beach at 5.30 in the morning. It ain't happening. Uh, there ain't no time. Excellent, Manos. We'll see you again soon and looking forward to lockdown being over. With pleasure. Lovely to see you, Mandy, as always. <laughs> Thank you.